hey guys welcome to the channel so as if you're following me on watching my videos then you know that i haven't been here for some time now about a month or so that's pretty long but i've been working on a small project which i'll be happy to share but i'm not ready to share it as yet however in due time i'll share as you can see the name of the page has been changed so that is actually a part of that project also so for as you can see we are moving towards a, new, a different language so for this series of videos what we're going to be looking at is python programming which is a beginner friendly however i didn't start with python programming but this is a big beginner friendly programming language it is very simple easy to learn however it is very 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 powerful so for our first problem we're going to be looking at this thing here which is as you can see 10 marks it's simple it's a simple program shouldn't take too long simple program so we're going to get into it and i'm going to explain as i go along things that you may know or you may not because obviously because you're watching this video because you're practicing some python or you want python practicing because i'm not a really like a tutor or anything what i'm doing is um really showing you well similar to a tutor but what i'm doing i'm showing you examples or problems and how to solve them um the programming problem all right so let's go ahead and get into this video right here all right our work on this problem so it says that an employee's total weekly pay equals the hourly wage multiplied by the total number of hours plus any overtime pay so the overtime pay equals the total overtime hours multiplied by um 1.5 times hourly wage so let's break this up so the hourly wage so this is equal to you can put the equal sign here so you know that it is equal to the hourly wage multiplied by the total number of regular hours plus let's so it's a multiply so let's put the multiplication symbol here also so we know what we're working with multiplied by and you can see i put an asterisk because you know we're programmers so we're not going to use no x or whatever so and this is plus plus the plus any overtime pay and for the overtime pay that is equal to the total number of overtime hours multiplied by 1.5 times so it's multiply again by the hourly wage all right so let's go ahead and this is a sample output of what it's supposed to look like so let's go ahead and write this code or these codes so first of all we need to find our hourly wage so our hourly wage is equal as you can see this is how you write a block comment so this is a block block comment and if you want an a single line comment you can use the the um, hashtag sign so this is three quotation marks anything enclosing this are comments and it will not be seen or run by the compiler all right so the hourly wage we're going to be calling that a float and it's 
an input so we are getting something from the user and we're going to prompt the user so prompting the user we're going to just ask them, so please enter orally wage or your order rate whichever you want to put it so as you can see it's similar to what's there and i'm going to put the dollar sign there to show that we are working with money and for the next thing here what we want for our input is and this input is going to be stored in this thing here which is a variable which i should have mentioned earlier on so let's go ahead and write to our next variable which is the total what's that the total regular hours so that would be the total regular hours total regular hours and that is also equal let's say float as well because i don't know but let's say let's just say float and uh, yeah let's move on i was going to speak about comments again like saying stuff like putting the your the author's name and stuff like that and the date but i'll just do that at the end but that's something i should have mentioned earlier so we're going to be prompting the user to enter the total regular hours and let's put that thing here we're not putting any dollar sign because we're not really working with money anymore and now what we need is the, to the overtime overtime hours so the overtime hours is what we need now let's say it's a float also even though i'm not going to be putting any float but let's just say it's a float also and we're going to be asking you something new so please enter over time hours i think that's good enough yeah over time hours another sign also so to find our overtime pay which is the variable that we're going to be making now so we're going to say overtime pay which is equal to and as you can see up here it's equal to um total overtime total over time over is multiplied by 1.5 multiplied by hourly wage all right so the user would have already entered all of those or most of those bars. so let's enclose them we're going to enclose them in parentheses because we're working with variables and we're working with normal integers and you know we don't if you're going to make any problem we want to get that out of the way so we're just going to enclose them all in brackets because we're doing multiplication or whatever so let's put in what it says so the total hours is that right multiplied by so we're going to say multiply by 1.5 and we're also multiplying that by the hourly the hourly wage yeah that's it and as i said i am enclosing them all in parentheses so, yeah all right so now what we need is or total weekly pay so the total weekly pay that will be equal to and here we're going to be using some math um, um rules so we're going to be using the the order of operations rule fundas or bundas whatever which one you want to call it so we're going to be multiplying and we're going to be adding so we want to multiply the hourly wage times the over the total regular hours first and then we're going to add any overtime pay so let's enclose all of that in parentheses first and then we'll add we'll add everything after so that's hourly wage times that's times times what's that one let's see regular hours so that's the total total regular hours and that is times that is plus plus the 
what's that hourly wage or overtime pay so that's the overtime pay and that's how we'll get our total weekly pay let's see if all of this is correct yep all right so so you know that you should close every one of these brackets that you open you should close them. as you can see they're highlighted as we go along let's give a little space for so we're going to just say print this this print function is what you used to um print out um text to the screen or whatever string data whatever all right so for this is where we're going to be printing out say the employees total weekly is and that thing there the dollar sign and we're going to do some concatenation so we end this string here we're ending it and we're going to concatenate so we're going to add a plus there to concatenate the file concatenation symbol um if i remember correctly which i hope is true and we're just going to add the variable total weekly pay and you should show the total weekly pay at the end or right here so and as i was saying we need let's just add and I'm, I'm going to use a single line like i have used the the block comment so we're going to use a single line comment and we're going to say the author is me now i'm just going to put the Alright, so the author is Fedore Services Inc. And the date, that's not date, so the date is today. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and run this thing here and see what we get. So our console should come up here. All right, so let's go ahead and add, enter these things. So it says enter the hourly wage. So let's say I make oh crap. Let's say I make seventy thousand, thirty-seven thousand dollars an hour of my wish, and or enter a total regular hour. So let's say I work for seven hours and i get like a three hours overtime sometimes and as you can see employees total weekly pay is what's that four hundred and twenty five thousand five hundred dollars and zero cent of i wish i was making that money however that's what i make here so thanks for taking the time out to watch this video if you have any questions please go ahead drop it in the comment section please like share subscribe whichever you choose